Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to more house conversions for Fallout 4 and in today's episode we're going to show you around the newly designed trading post. I hope you're going to love this one. A lot of fun doing it as this whole series has been. Thank you so much for all the support. Let's do it. As is tradition, here is the house that we're playing with right next to the motel. Next to, you can see where it is relative to where we're coming to Sanctuary. There's a heck of a lot of furniture in this particular house here, but it actually plays to my favour and you'll see when we do the tour why I say that. It's pretty wrecked. Usual story, Rory, lots of holes, lots of stuff around. There's no cops in here, unfortunately. For some reason, McCready loves this place. I'm not sure exactly why. I thought that was a holotape of some kind, but it wasn't just a pack of cigarettes. There you go, there's McCready. He's just hiding in here for some reason. Okay, guys, let's get into the tour. Hope you're going to like it. Let's do it. Okay, so this is what we've come up with for the build. I hope you are going to love the tour. Um, I have added an additional building in here using the the um, using the uh, Sanctuary Hills uh, building kit, and we'll get into that in a while. But let's uh, let's have a wee look in. I've added this little kind of structure here to lead you in, like if it's raining or something. Although I don't. That it's going to save you from the rain. I put this thing facing fascia board, fascia board on the front of the building just to make it look a little bit different. I did some fallen signs on, and you can see straight away it draws your eye. And uh, yeah, it does uh, make it look quite different. We'll have a look from the other side as well. Here we go. That's how it looks. And so it's pretty inviting to go in and have a look around. So, um, We've put a fairly strong door on it. This is a good neighbour door. Good neighbour hatch door, as you can see. And, um, yeah, we forgot to do that, didn't we? Um, can you stay there, please, sir? Thank you. Um, I've used these shutters again. You've seen the, these in previous builds. Good for night time. And, yeah, we've got this additional building. Like I said, we'll get to that in a minute. But, yeah... All in all, the outside of the building, I've just kind of tried to make it a little bit different. And, it, you know, it's not something that's too complicated, just adding these boards on. Just drop a wall in, snap them to it, and then get rid of the wall. Apparently, the, the um, vault Tech guy loves this place. He must need something. So let's cut going with him and see what's going on. So, as you would expect, this is kind of the, the kind of grocery part, if you like of the um, of the build and there's all manner of things in here kind of hardware items paints and tools and all kinds of stuff you can buy in here come up to the counter here and get some special stuff apparently somebody left forgot to take that out of the basket and forgot about it I think um, but anyway grab a basket and you can have a wee look around because it's pretty well stocked this place very well stocked in fact, and this is a very simple idea, as you can see, this is some toys here, if you get bored, for the kids. There we go. Some clothing here, now we do have a special clothing section, some books for you to read, but you can see, you don't need much to, to kind of fill this up and make it look like a little bit of a grocery or a store or a supermarket or something. And then down the hallway here, you can see we've got appliances to our right and furniture to our left. And we have a wee tiny surprise as well. So some overall kind of office furniture in there if you need some. And here's your appliances in here. He hasn't got too much in stock, but you know, he's gone out and looted the place, the people that own this and come back with this. I don't know how he got it back, but anyway, we're not going to ignore that. Your selection of tables. If you need tables, these are the most popular in the Commonwealth, these little ones. So if you need any of those, they've got those. Um, can you move, please, mate? You're in the way. Hello. I don't want to talk. I don't know what you're. What are you sitting on, sir? Problem is, I can't move this guy. So again, the furniture. Uh, the furniture. We'll just have to jump over him. 
Let's see if we can get over. Furniture continues into this room. You can see we've got the, the seats here. And if you need a new desk, buy a selection of desks in here. In fact, I couldn't move this desk for some reason. It wouldn't let me. What were you sitting on? You know I do anyway. So you've got a selection of chairs. And this is all this is how I used all the furniture that was in this house. And in this area here, there's actually a clothing area, and it's quite substantial actually. Um, these come from Dead Wasteland. These little uh, uniforms on hung up on the wall. And they're quite nice. And uh, yeah. Most of this stuff comes from Dead Wasteland or Creative Clutter. There's a large selection of clothing for you if you're looking for something new. Sneakers or, or whatever, boots. Yeah, quite nice, quite nice little area in here. Little clothing area that you can come into and there isn't anywhere to try them on unfortunately. I probably should have put that in, but anyway. Thank you for interfering, sir. And then for the super, super secret area in here. So they have got a, they've branched out and specialised a little, this chain. And they've put a collectibles um, shop in. So rather than run around the uh, the, the Commonwealth and look for uh, magazines, you can actually just come in here and, and grab them. And they've given you a couple of areas to sit down if you want to read your magazines and read them. So there's all these collectible magazines in here. If you're a bit of a Nuka Cola fan, there are a couple collectibles. We haven't got much in at the moment. But then there are a lot of minifigs. So if you're looking for minifigs, there's quite a large selection of them in here. Quite nice. Yeah, you can buy yourself a power armor helmet collectible if you like. You've got a large selection of those as well. And um, yeah, if you if you you don't want to search for bobbleheads, although we haven't got a large selection of bobbleheads in it at the moment, but you can just buy them right there. There you go. And there are a couple of collectible stickers and whatnot on the walls. And again, a sitting area for you to to read your comics if you like. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty nice little area, nice little collectibles area. Nice little collectible store. So that's it guys, that's the tour. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I have been enjoying the whole series so far. You can see there's quite a bit going on in Sanctuary now. It's it's really come to life. Well, there's all kinds of stuff going on. Uh, and we have to pretty much do this build next I think. And I've, I've got a couple ideas but I'm really not sure what I want to do with this building next. So if you've got any ideas, leave some comments down below and I'd be happy to try and build something like we did with the hotel. Thanks for watching and catch you next time. We'll see ya.